from After Dark World Headquarters. This is your humble correspondent, KD, with another edition of the Morning Report. So, for Mr. and Ms. America, to all ships at sea, for all sods everywhere, and Christy Canyon, wherever you are, good morning to you. A chilly Monday morning, and I think it's November the 8th, but I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to go with that. Anyway, I'm going to forego, I'm going to forego reading from Pissing in the Snow because I don't have any of that stories left, but I've, I've discovered a new interesting thing. Velvet Talks. They got a letter section in here that is <laughs> unbelievable. All right, so this lady, this lady, name is Mona Minx. Man, I always wanted to date a Mona, or as they say down south, Moner. All right, so this is what she says. These, these are called letters and fantasy tapes. I get off on every letter that you send. So keep them coming. If you have any sex fantasies, lusty dreams, lusty dreams, or wild ideas, I want to hear about them. So please, please write me today. Don't forget to send your name and address so I can answer you personally if your letter really makes me hot. But don't worry, we won't use your name in print if you don't want us to. I'll be waiting. And I have a letter that is out of control. It is called A Letter to Mona Minx, and it's titled Sex... Sunday. Dearest Hot Lips. What in the fuck is going on with you? I have no correspondence with anyone out there. I am in prison for selling cocaine. Parentheses the lady, whatever that means. I am six foot two with long hair and mustache and I love to suck and eat pussy to the max. When I was out on the streets, I had more than my share of tasty cunt. I think you have the most, most gorgeous pussy I have ever seen. I buy Velvet Talks every chance I get, mainly so I can feast my eyes on your clam pie. This is a true romantic talking here. I look at your pictures every night and jack off to you. I jack off to you in the shower, wishing like hell that you were down here to take your my meat down your throat and gobble my cum. <laughs> I am so fucking horny right now, I'm going to jack off and continue the letter after I come. Mona. 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 I'm coming, baby. I'm coming just for you. God, that was good, babe. You were the best damn chick to jack off that has ever lived. I'd like to say that Velvet Talks gets better and better with each issue. The records are better, too. I just listened to the one with Vanessa Del Rio, and... 
wow, was that dynamite. I was speaking to someone who actually met Vanessa Del Rio. I can tell you, wow is about the right word. I felt like I was getting a blowjob right here in prison. You have the most edible babes in the world in your book. Over the past couple of years, you have wowed me with such sex queens as Velva Feely, Vanessa, Carol Connors, Desiree Cousteau, Samantha Fox, Serena, Edie Williams, and Seika. And of course you, Mona, the hottest of them all. I'll change the name, Love William. And Ms. Mona responds, I feel flattered that you put me in the company of such great sex stars. I know some of the porn queens personally. Vanessa and I had lunch a few weeks ago, and as a matter of fact, she's indeed a real babe. Velva Feely and I are, how should you say it, more than friends? I'll pass along your accolades tonight. She and I had a very hot date planned. You make me feel like coming too, so I'm going to sign off and take a real relaxing break. So much so that it will require me to maintain a horizontal position on a soft bed. They tell it for the truth on Velvet Talks. This might be a new regular feature. I, uh, I'm quite the fan of, <laughs> of some of these insane letters. A couple of show and tells and I'm getting the hell out. This is one of my oldest childhood things. It's a small cup, of course. Now, when I was a kid, it would have the eyes, but the eyes fell out over the years. The bottom of it is cracked, but... This Captain Kangaroo Cup has got wonderful memories. I can remember being a small child and drinking my milk after the Captain Kangaroo Cup. If I know how things were back in those days, I would say that it either came in a detergent box or it had jelly in it. I could be wrong, but I could be right. You may be right. I may be crazy. I've got to show off something one of my good friends sent me. Brings me back, back to the days. Archie glasses. Mr. TNT, Mr. Trusty Nathan Trusty sent these to me, and I so dig them because I remember them. They were jelly glasses. And uh, I like them so much, I don't even think I want to drink anything out of them. I just love them. So, Mr. Trusty, thank you. Now, check out the bottom. Hot dog. That's Archie's dog. And Archie. But maybe it looked better like that. You see Archie? You see hot dog? So how cool is this? Pretty cool. Last thing. My friend Roy used to be a, a, a big fan of going to UPI. I think it was UPI. Or it could be the Chicago Tribune. I'm not sure and I don't remember. But anyway, he would get photographs that the newspaper would print or reprint in their editions. And it would be all sorts of things, things that you wouldn't expect. For instance, he sent me this one time. Who be that? First is uh, Bride of the Monster with Bella Gozia. There's Tor Johnson. A Touch of Evil with Orson Welles and Charlton Heston. The infamous Hustler with 
the Kingpin, Jackie Gleason, and where's he at? Paul Newman. And last but not least, all you Dark Shadows fans, take a good look at this. One of the publicity photos, no, I'm at the wrong place. One of the publicity photos from the television show. So I dig it. I don't have it hanging anywhere, but I really do love it. And so, my morning report now comes to an end. I have 34 subscribers now. 34, can you dig it? I know you can. I would like to have 35 subscribers. And you know how I always say this, 35 is the new 34. So, with all of my little show and tell and my velvet letters to Mona Minx, I'm going to remember her. I will now say farewell to you because I must wander the earth. I have things to do. Let's get shit done. Remember discipline equals freedom. Be kind to someone today. Always be kind to animals. Remember, never complain and never explain. This is KD for KD After Dark saying to Mr. and Ms. America, all ships at sea and all sods everywhere, I'm really looking for my 35th subscriber, so help me out. And I wish you all a great day.